Plot It Yourself is a Nero Wolf detective novel by Rex Stout, published by the Viking Press in 1959, and also collected in the omnibus volume Kings Full of Aces. I stopped because he was having a fit. He had closed his right hand to make a fist and was hitting the desk with it, and he was bellowing. He was roaring something in a language that was probably the one he had used as a boy in Montenegro, the one that he and Marco Vuksic had sometimes talked. Fritz, entering with beer, stopped and looked at me reproachfully. Wolf quit bellowing as abruptly as he had started, glared at Fritz, and said coldly, take that back. I don't want it. But it will do, take it back. I shall drink no beer until I get my fingers around that creature's throat, Nero Wolf on learning of yet another murder, in Plotted Yourself, Chapter 13. A group of authors and publishers hires Nero Wolf to investigate a series of plagiarism claims. Wolf, by his own admission, bungles the investigation so badly that three murders result. In Plot It Yourself, Stout draws on his lengthy experience with book publishers, with authors, and with the writing process itself. Apart from the series' continuing characters, all the players in the book are directly associated with the publishing industry. Stout adds as subtext his take on the peculiar relationship between book authors and book publishers, part symbiosis, part animosity. Stout himself experienced at least one instance of contentious relations with his publishers. Someone has been getting away with a different spin on plagiarism. It's the old scam, an unsuccessful author stealing ideas from an established source, but it's being worked differently. Now, the plagiarists are claiming that the well-known authors are stealing from them. And they are making their claims stick, three successful claims in four years, one awaiting trial, and one that's just been made. These claims have damaged both the publishers and the authors. The Book Publishers of America and the National Association of Authors and Dramatists form a joint committee to explore ways to stop the fraud, and the committee comes to Wolf for help. The first four claims have shared certain characteristics, in the first, for example, the best-selling author Ellen Sturtevant is accused by the virtually unknown Alice Porter of stealing a recent book's plot from a story that Porter sent her. Asking her suggestions for improvement. Sturtevant ignores the accusation until Porter's manuscript is found in Sturtevant's house. The writing and publishing industry is convinced that the manuscript was planted, but the case was settled out of court. That scenario, with minor variations, is repeated four times, with other authors and by other plagiarists. The latest complaint has been made only recently, and the target of the complaint wonders when a manuscript will show up somewhere that it wasn't the day before. Wolf's first step is to acquire and read the manuscripts that form the basis for the complaints. Wolf's love of literature turns out to be useful in his investigation. From the internal evidence in the manuscripts, Wolf concludes that they were all written by the same person. Aspects such as diction, punctuation and syntax, and, most convincingly, paragraphing, point Wolf directly to the conclusion that one person wrote all the manuscripts. At first, this seems like progress, but then it becomes clear that it's the opposite. The task initially seemed to be to show that the first fraud inspired a sequence of copycats, and the universe of suspects was limited to the complainants. But now that Wolf has determined that one person wrote all the fraudulent manuscripts, that one person could be anyone. Wolf meets with the joint committee to discuss the situation. A committee member suggests that one of the plagiarists be offered money, along with a guarantee of immunity, to identify the manuscript's actual author. The committee concurs, and asks Wolf to arrange for the offer to be made to Simon Jacobs. The next day, Archie goes to make the offer to Jacobs, but finds Sergeant Pearlie Stebbins at the Jacobs' apartment. Mr. Jacobs has been murdered, stabbed to death the night before. In short order, Archie discovers two more dead plagiarists. Wolf blames himself for not taking steps to protect Jacobs and the others, who had been made targets by the plan to pay for information. The only one left is Alice Porter, who first worked the fraud successfully, and who is now repeating it with Amy Wynn and her publisher. Wolf, concentrating on Porter, catches her in a contradiction that identifies the murderer for him. Quotations related to Plotted Yourself at Wikiquote. Thanks for watching.